Thank you for joining us. This video demonstrates how to install our SpaceRay PCA and PCS tube heaters. Our PCA heater is the most popular heater in our poultry line. All of the tubes on the PCA are calorized, aluminized steel, which provides resistance to corrosion and the best heat distribution to the floor. Before beginning installation, please reference the labels on the packaging your heater came in. All of our heaters are packaged with clear and informative labels that show the part numbers and details of what is packaged inside the boxes. First, check to be sure all of your parts are accounted for. Please take time to carefully read the instruction manual. To start, pre-cut your chain to your desired length. Refer to the installation manual for proper clearance to combustibles. Attach the chain to the hangers using your S-hooks. Next, hang the chain on the cup hooks that are attached to the trusses. Having these hangers in place on the cup hooks makes it easier to install the tubes. Please note, SpaceRay does not provide the cup hooks or chains. It is important to remember our PCA tube heater should always be installed in place. Never try to assemble the heater on the ground and lift it into place. This can cause damage to the heater and injury to the installer. First, hang the burner box with the turnbuckle provided. This will allow for easy leveling adjustments if needed. Next, attach the tube gasket on the box and then bolt the fire tube in place. Fully tighten all three nuts that join the fire tube to the burner box. Please make sure the seam on the tube is facing the floor. The seam is the weakest part of the tube where the metal was welded together. Therefore, we want that seam facing down away from where the flame will be inside the tube during operation. Failure to install the tube with the seam down voids all warranties on the emitter tubes. Next, slide the band clamp onto the fire tube so that the end of the tube is halfway up the clamp. Tighten the band clamp bolt on the fire tube side of the clamp. Make sure the fire tube is secured inside the clamp. At this point, do not completely tighten the band clamp bolt. You may need to adjust the clamp to get the next tube straight. The bolt only needs to be tight enough to stay in position on the fire tube. Now, slide the second tube into the opposite end of the band clamp. Have someone else line up the tube from the opposite end of the second tube. Make sure both tubes are straight side to side and up and down. Make sure the seam on the second tube is facing the floor. When everything is aligned and straight, tighten the bolt on the band clamp at the second tube. You can now completely tighten both bolts on the band clamp. Next, install the self-tapping screws into the two outside holes in the band clamp. These screws secure the tubes in place. Now, repeat steps one through six when installing the remaining tubes until all the tubes have been installed. Now you are ready to install the reflector shields. First, slide the reflector shields in place in the hangers. Unroll the TIS wire from its spool. Stretch the wire out. It is important to position the reflector about four inches from the burner box. Now, install the U-bolt bracket and screw the reflector to the bracket. Now that the reflector is secure, you can pull the TIS wire down and place the bracket over the reflector. Please note, each tube gets its own U-bolt bracket. This bracket is to keep the reflector straight and to help maintain the integrity of the heater. Screw the reflector to the U-bolt bracket. Please make sure you never screw the reflectors together at the overlap. They need to be able to expand and contract as the heater is warming and cooling. All PCA tube heaters have turbulators. The quantity of the turbulators will depend on the size of your heater. Make sure to use all the turbulators sent in your burner box. Simply interlock the turbulators together and slide them into the last tube of the heater. Never put a turbulator in any tube except the last tube. The turbulator will hold the heat inside the tube so that the heat will radiate from the tube. The turbulator also prevents heat from escaping out the end of the unit. This makes the heater more efficient and also keeps the exhaust temperature down so that the heater is safe. Once the turbulators are all in, attach the stainless steel wire tie to the slot in the last one. Push the turbulator completely in, but leave the tail of the wire tie hanging out and down towards the floor or to the side so it can be easily seen. 
Next, install the exhaust kit onto the end of the last tube and secure the end shield with speed clips to hold it in place. The final step is to install the fresh air intake kit. All PCA heaters come standard with a fresh air intake kit. Simply cut the sealing material where the flue will go into the attic. Keep in mind that the hose in this kit is 30 inches long. Your hole in the ceiling should be no more than 18 inches away from your burner box. That way, you have enough hose to reach the ceiling. Tighten the hose onto the flue and the heater box with the hose clamps provided. Your installation is now complete. You are ready for the electric and gas connections to be made. Please refer to your owner's manual for proper electric and gas supply information. Thank you for your business. Please contact our customer service team for any questions. Thank you for choosing SpaceRay.